half a million Wisconsinites will soon have to open their pocketbooks for health care coverage. And new estimates show it may be costly. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. The state's office of the Commissioner of Insurance released estimates of how premium rates for individuals will be changing under the Affordable Care Act. Yeah, for people who have no insurance or who may not have insurance, those numbers show a wide range of increases from 10% on the low end to as much as 125%. And with the requirement for individuals to have insurance set to start in less than a month, the law remains controversial. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo tonight has balanced coverage. Starting October 1st, 500,000 Wisconsinites will have to shop for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. And according to the state's Office of the Commissioner of Insurance, there will be drastic premium increases as a result. The office compiled data from eight cities for $2,000 deductible plans for three different age groups. The study did not include the numbers of actual estimated costs, only percentages. In Appleton, a 21-year-old's cost would increase 54 percent, a 40-year-old's about 37 percent, percent and a 63 year old about 32 percent. We spoke with John Kelly from Security Health Plan of Wisconsin. The company is one of 13 that will be part of the exchange in the state. He says the numbers from OCI meshed with what his company has found but says comparing today's plans with the ACA plans is like comparing apples and oranges. Generally speaking they're, they're different different types of plans. They're, they're better coverage under the ACA. Kelly also says it's impossible to know what each person will actually pay until the exchange begins. The state study does not include tax credits and federal subsidies that are expected to offset much of the costs. What an actual individual will pay out of pocket for premiums will be subject to a number of other variables such as their income level and so forth. At a town hall meeting with Congressman Tom Petri in Menasha, many voiced concerns about the insurance changes. Bill Hissom says he'd even support a government shutdown to stop the law. It is failing to address all of the promises made originally, uh, i.e. affordability, okay? Um, the ability to retain your, your coverage. Sarah Conklin supports the ACA. I want to make sure that Obamacare goes forward and that they don't hold the budget at a stalemate because of Obamacare, and nothing gets reversed on it. Petri himself tells us it's not likely Congress will take down the law anytime soon. There are a number of other features of the legislation that are pretty controversial and issues as to whether they're workable uh, or not, uh, but it's basically a partisan potato in the Congress, and it's unlikely in the short term that there's going to be consensus. In Menasha, Alex Ronaldo, Fox 11 News. Now, as far as some of those numbers are concerned, the state estimates about 400,000 residents currently in Wisconsin do not have any insurance. Another 92,000 are expected to lose their state coverage as part of changes to Badger Care. Neither the governor's office nor the insurance commissioner's office responded today to our request for interviews.